Welcome back. We wanted to talk about our higher power downlight range. As we spoke before about the, the different type of LED chips and that they're used for different fittings and the benefits that they have. We move into the higher power downlight range for a couple of reasons is that we often talk in commercial applications. They on a lot longer. Like we mentioned about the L70 uh, with the luminous maintenance. Considering that some of these fittings are on 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and commonly used in places like shopping centers, hospitals, and let's face it, they're on 24 hours a day, seven days a week. The different fittings that you'll find, and we're gonna go into a little bit more later in another segment, and that's called switch mode uh, with your drivers. Now, what we wanna be able to go on at the moment is just showing you the range of the high powered downlights that we do have that similar to our domestic range, that um, including our mates rates range. So we have our mates rates as like an entry level, uh, certainly taking the size of the fitting itself is a lot narrower. So again, in those tight places, I'll um, show up on this one here. It's a lot narrower. You're only looking at about less than 40 mil. So um, the ability on these ones also is that you can unscrew, it's tight enough, the actual trim, which you can see coming off there. So um, again, you're finding uh, a commercial application where you'd wanna actually change the color of this fitting, um, what about in a theatre? In, um, in a Birch Carol cinema. Uh, a lot of them, they have that black trim. So having the option of being able to remove this and you can send it away to a powder coater or print it, that's another option for you guys. So uh, the other aspect on these also, this is the mates rates range. Um, as you can see inside, they use the surface mounted diodes being spread out, as you can see on there, purely for that nice wide beam angle. Now the heat sink, although it is a lot narrower, it is specifically designed, as you can see, the Emelec design there. Now these are designed in-house in all of our most ray trains and our entire fitting range. We design, we've got our own engineer here and he does all of that work. So, and often uh, a lot of places, they're not familiar with the design of their fittings, whereas we are 100% looking at uh, our design. So this fitting here, this is what we call our 2030. 2030 being that you can either use this in a 20 watt application or a 30 watt application. So the one fitting being able to use in a 20 watt power or a 30 watt power, we'll get close up on that one just over here. So you've got a switch there, which flicks it between 20 watts and a 30 watts. So, and that's in the mates rates range. Um, these have the three color outputs that you have to order them exactly as we want them for. So warm white, neutral white, and white. So 3000, 4000, and 6000 K. So um, there's a lot of these items that I'm showing you that you will get asked for a little bit later. But just to make sure, if you're not familiar with them, contact the branch or the supplier that uh, you deal with. I'd be more than happy to actually um, to show you some of them. The expandable trim. So these can actually fit both of the mates rates range and also the, the other one box series, which I'll show in just a moment. But just to show you um, these fittings themselves, um, how easy and snug, just to add that bit extra length on them. Um, just to clip straight in, and now your output diameter has increased. Now, looking at 220 to 280 mil. So, so easily popped in and out. Now, the same thing in the Wubbox family has the option of flicking a switch at the wall where you can change between those uh, the three color tones in your CCT, which is your correlated color temperature. I keep on going back to it so that way you're familiar with it. 
So, new series, which um, you may not be familiar with, in the past, same diameter size, 185 cutout with a 220mm trim. That will also fit into the expandable trim. Uh, the 2030, they are full ICF rated. Now, if the fitting is IC or ICF rated, what we spoke about before, you'll actually see the little tags up on the top there. Okay, which I'll show on the side screen. So that purely indicates that it does have that approval. So again, they can be covered and also abutted. So that's the 20 and 30 watt version. Again, one box facility. We have your blue driver, which is your one box with your selection of your outputs on the side there. But most importantly, we've also added the 20 and the 30 watt flicker uh, the actual switch mode option on the top there as well okay so you'll see that on the top there a bit closer okay so what we are going to be doing is we'll be designing very shortly a, a further version which is a 4050 so having that 4050 option as well it saves you having six fittings um, and for you guys in the commercial applications one thing I want to stress to you I come from a long history in the retail industry and also the wholesale industry and there's one question that uh, in that time that I was always asked and that is uh, warranty. Now is it a domestic warranty or is it a commercial warranty where you buy one fitting and if I used it for a domestic application they may give you four years warranty for it but as soon as you mention you're going to use it in a commercial application they reduce that to one year. Well, that's penalizing. We don't do that. So our warranty that MLX supplies and we back our products with are backed whether you use it for a domestic application or a commercial application. We're not biased in that sense. So as we first started, when I mentioned with the high powered downlight range, um, these can be used in places where they're on 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Your warranty is exactly the same amount as if these are only turned on three days a week. Um, check with your uh, wholesalers if you haven't seen them already before. They'll be more than happy to order them in. The units themselves, uh, as I said, there's a lot of accessories that you can get for the uh, high powered downlights. Uh, first one obviously was the expandable trim. You can also get the surface mount enclosures. So if you do have those situations where you do need to mount them on a concrete or a surface mount them, you can also do that. Um, these are available in a brushed aluminium or a white but being that they are removable, you can always get them painted or powder coated from you know, a local uh, business close to you. The units themselves, now just a, a heads up on this one, a common thing which you will get in a commercial application is sometimes these lights can be a little glary. There's another option that we're just about to introduce and this is where they screw off the actual standard trim. We're going to be able to make a, a deeper trim just to show you an idea here on the thickness of these here. There's your thickness. So I'll put this one, this one here, and you can see the difference using a, a deeper style. It takes away that glare. So having that installed, you can see now as a deeper fitting in a comparison to something which is a lot narrower so it takes away that glare aspect especially in shopping centers when you're walking down those aisles so again these fittings and fixtures are designed by us we are the actual designers so um, if you do have a situation where you do need something made specifically um, you know there may be a, a minimum order quantity we can make it so uh, so welcome back into the high powered downlights. I just want to cover another fitting that's commonly used, especially in uh, commercial in shop fitters. It's available in two wattages. We've got the 40 watt version and also the 70 watt version, both in the three color options with your warm white, neutral white and white. Um, the 40 watt version you can dim, so which is uh, any of the most common dimmers. Um, the 70 watt you can't. But um, the 40 watt version, looking at say a replacement for a 70 watt uh, in an halogen, and for the 70 watt uh, LED version, looking at replacing a 150 watt uh, metal halide. So uh, good savings going to the LED in the shop fitter type format. 